Welcome to Thought for January the 29th. Our readings are taken from Genesis 48, 49 and 50, Psalm 51 and 52, and Romans chapters 5 and 6. And our thought is, you also must consider yourselves dead. There are some days when all the readings provoke thoughts that are very meaningful and personal. In Genesis, we have the words of Joseph to his brothers after their father died. The brothers are fearful that Joseph, in his position of great power in the land, will now take vengeance on them for the time they threw him into a pit, ignoring his pleas, and sold him to be a slave. But Joseph now fully sees the events from God's perspective. Joseph said to them, Do not fear, for Am I in the place of God? You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring about. The lesson for us, as we see in Genesis chapter 50 verses 19 to 20, is to look into all the strange and unexpected events to see whether the hand of God is there or not, allowing or causing the setting in motion of a chain of events for some divine purpose. But we usually perceive this only later as the events unfold. Also, we can say this is the case with our endeavours to understand much of apparently fulfilling prophecy in these days. In the Psalms, we have that most meaningful Psalm 51, which reveals David's total remorse and repentance after his sin with Bathsheba, a powerful example for all who become belatedly awake to what a mess they have made in some part of their lives. But the awakening must be from the heart and create a prayerful seeking of God's guidance. Then, in Paul's letter to the Romans, we have this most powerful portrayal of the impact that the sacrifice of Christ must have on us, as it obviously had on him. This impact may not come to begin with, but it must surely come if we are to be people whom our Lord can really use in his service. Paul writes of how the free gift of grace of that one man, in contrast to Adam, Jesus Christ abounded for many. Chapter 5, verse 15. Yet, because it is free, do we really appreciate it in the right way? There seems to be a lot of glib talk around, spoken and written in some religious circles about grace that is always abounding, regardless of what we might ever do. But in chapter 6, Paul makes a really special point, or so it seems to us. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. And then he makes this powerful point to his readers. Those in Rome and of all ages, after saying you also must consider yourselves dead to sin, he pleads, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions, verse 11 and 12. Let us all see ourselves to be dead to sin. And if we cannot see that, then draw closer to Christ our mediator in earnest prayer, also making sure we constantly, meditatively read God's word to inspire us in seeing. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.